I think he knows what he is and what he can do, and, and uh, there's a comfort factor there, but uh, he gets it ready every game. Do you feel like he's taken on a little bit more of a leadership role as well? I see him talking to Herman a lot. Well, he, he did that even uh, before spring training started when we were uh, on the minor league side. You know, he got there early and talked to a lot of other players and um, mentored, mentored them uh, through the process before spring training and, and all those things. So, you know, he's done that for a while. Larry, the, the changeup, he's talked to us a lot about. What have you seen from that pitch, you know, the last year or so? Well, he's been able to change speeds on it, um, which uh, gives him a, a greater variation uh, off of his fastball. And on days when his slider isn't quite as sharp, like early today, uh, he left a lot of sliders in the middle of the plate and then figured out around the fourth or fifth inning. Um, and it gives him a nice off-speed pitch. and. You know, uh, the speed variation just on the changeup is pretty good. I've seen him throw it at 80 or 79. I've seen him throw it at 88 to 89, 90. So uh, there's a lot of variation there. Do you think there's more confidence on his end throwing that pitch this year? I thought he had a lot of confidence last year with it, especially as we got halfway through. Um, you know, there were games that I saw him changing speeds on it really well. Uh, so I, I think he has confidence in it, but I, I thought the second half of last year he did. You know, wins isn't the biggest statistic for a pitcher, but in today's age, very few win 20. Uh, when I kind of like wins. <laughs> when you look at the way he's... I know it's not the <laughs> soup of the day, but I like him. When you look at the way he's thrown and the way this lineup is, uh, you think he's a legitimate threat to get to 20? He's not already. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, until you get 19, I don't think you need to worry about 20, so we've got a ways to go with that. Um, you know, it's a nice mark, and it's something that uh, you don't see done a whole lot anymore. But I, I think 10 is the next mark that we get to and then go from there. What, what, what do you like about the wins? Does it tell you about the competitiveness? Or? Well, I think when you're a starting pitcher, you need to start games to win games because it's not always going to be that easy. You know, you, you lose a no-hitter, you think about a shutout, you lose a shutout, you win the game. Um, and I think it gives you a little bit more drive at the end of the day. I think for starting pitchers, there's usually three key situations in a game where you have to make pitches to get somebody out to win a game. And if you don't have the purpose in the back of your mind to win that game, I think there's a little different approach. And, and uh, I think anytime you're doing anything athletically, every edge you can get, you need to get. And winning games is part of that edge, you know? And I don't like guys to be taken out of that. Do you think the decreased value of the win has negatively impacted some pitchers? Well, I, I, you know, it's hard to answer that. I, I think um, what has impacted some pitchers is that, you know, the third time through the order, you know, I, I think guys need a chance when they're younger, you know, whether it's in the development phase in the minor leagues or early in the major leagues, um, to prove that they can do things, given the fact that they have that ability, and you know they have that ability. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think there's times when uh, you need to find out that, you know, guys can do certain things and learn how to pitch when it's not uh, just going through a game and coming out after five or six innings. I think if you go through the trials and tribulations, you know, when you've got 95, 100 pitches and, you know, not to get guys hurt because there are significant numbers that indicate, you know, that there's a problem. But I think if you do it in the right way, you can get them through it and, and they learn how to use their legs. They, they learn what pitching really is, and that's changing speeds and, and executing pitches with fastballs and being able to throw breaking balls in different counts. Was, was there a point last year, you think, where Severino went and threw that? Or, you know, uh, I don't know, I guess like a, that sort of, those things that you're talking about? I or? thought Sevy, uh, not this one or the winter before, after 16. Um, I thought he did a lot of things, a lot of contemplating during that winter and put a lot of things into action. And I think it showed last year, and it, it, you know, the, it continues to show. There was a lot of talk outside the organization back that year that he might be better off being a reliever. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the discussions in the organization that year when were you in the camp that he has to stay as a starter? Yeah, I'm not at liberty to go into discussions we have behind scenes, but I thought uh, for his, for our own good, to develop a starting pitcher, and whether that came to fruition or not, I don't think anybody could say that, but. Uh, I think it was in our best interest to find that out.
Looking ahead to tonight, Herman seems like at times he's been plagued by a big inning. What can he do to avoid those big innings? Well, he, he lapses into being a young pitcher at times, and, um, you know, he's got three really quality pitches, and the command of the fastball is a key for him because he does command, you know, and there's times when he has real good command of it, but, you know, he commands his breaking ball and his changeup pretty well, and uh, I think he's going to grow into the command of the fastball. How do you think he's handled the starting role since he's he's been in the rotation? I think he's done okay. You know, I, I think obviously there is a lot more there that uh, we can tap into, and hopefully that you know he's he, he's shown that ability. You know, he's had some tough innings and bounced back and gotten us through more innings, which is a good sign. But um, you know, it's a process for him. When, when you uh, or when. Uh, the big inning came and went all of a sudden went to seven one seven one. Is there a change in you know approach or tactics at, at that point for Luis, given no, that I, you've got a double header and trying to get deep? No. No, I'm I'm a firm believer in you pitch to get people out. The score doesn't tell you how you're going to get people out. You know you, you make pitches to get the hitter out, and I really don't care what the score is. And you know I know that you know that's going against old school thoughts, but. There's a lot that's changed in, in baseball today that indicates that that's not really a good way to go, you know, to make sure you're throwing strikes and you don't walk people by throwing fastballs. And why wouldn't you do that all the time if that's going to work? You know, you, you pitch to get people out, and whatever pitches that leads you to throw, you throw them.